Welcome people, it's your girl Chrissy and I'm back at it again with a another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I install these crochet goddess box braids. I did get the hair off Amazon. I'll leave all the details in the description box below. This hair did come with eight packs of hair and I used all eight packs. I did get it in a 14 inches and the color combo is 1B30 and 27. So right here, I'm pretty much just prepping my hair for my braid down. I'm going to be doing 11 braids in the front and I'm going to be connecting them to five braids in the back. I went ahead and I used some shining jam to just smooth down my edges so I have a you know cleaner looking braids going back and I did do a side part I did the braiding pattern to where I could wear the style on the side as well as in the middle so I wouldn't say I did like two middle anchor braids but I did do the two top middle for the middle part a little bit smaller and I did do my side part at an angle which was kind of like curved not straight and then I went in with my Miel Organics rosemary and mint oil I believe just to make sure I prepped and oiled my scalp and this is what the packaging looked like with the hair I think I got the hair like the next day off Amazon super fast shipping it came in these individually packed bags and it was eight packs each pack had about 14 braids I want to say the color combo of this was pretty it's my favorite color combo and they did a really good job with the blend and as usual I start from the back and the sides and just work my way up to the middle and the top they also provided a crochet um, needle for you guys usually when you buy crochet braids online they will provide a needle for you now so if you don't have one and this is your first time trying to do this style you're covered you, you get everything that you know you'll need but I pretty much just start doing that in total this process did take me about two hours and that included the braid down and the install of this hair and as usual how I attach this hair is I stick my needle through a braid and I hook the hair on the needle close the latch pull it through and then I hook the other part of the hair on the needle and pull that through and that's how you lock it you tighten it and I just do that process over and over again but for this hair I made sure to kind of hook it more at the top with the braid and not too far down where the goddess pieces are because that's where you'll get like a little tangly mess like right here but i mean it was super easy to install moved very quickly i started the, doing this here about eight o'clock and i finished around like 10 so i thought i was gonna be there a little bit longer than i actually was but i actually did end up finishing fairly quickly i will say I didn't really like the hair at first I wasn't feeling it I didn't know what it was if it was the 14 inches if it was like me going back doing colored styles again I don't know but I was just like I don't know it wasn't giving me what I wanted to give but it was a very beautiful hair I did go in with some lot of body mousse just to you know make sure all the curls and everything was entangled and fine and that was pretty much it I hope you enjoy this tutorial come back to my channel to see my final thoughts and review on this hair I'll see you guys
guys so this is the final look for the goddess box braids i will say i do not normally do crochet box braids i have done it on other people but never on myself and i decided you know what i'm just gonna do it so here we are my first thoughts on this hair is that honestly it is like really soft it's like super soft so i feel like i already know it's gonna hold up well in terms of like it being water friendly but i will definitely test that out for you guys before the summer is over hopefully um so i can give you guys a full review on this hair so definitely stay tuned because i will be coming back in about three weeks four weeks depending on how long i have this hair in to tell you guys my final thoughts on this style i will say i thought it was gonna be like a little fuller i did use all eight packs of hair and i feel like i would want to use more like you know what i mean i feel like i would probably buy like a 12 just so i could get like some of the curly pieces up here i don't know i feel like i wanted it to be a little bit more fuller but i don't know or maybe it's just the the length thrown me off because i did get it in 14 inches and i don't normally get my hair in 14 inches i don't know it's not bad but i'm not totally loving it right now maybe it will grow on me we'll see i will say though the color of this is really nice they did a great job with the ombre i got it in a t1b the number 30 and 27 and this is my favorite color combo my favorite ombre combo so i was like you know what it's been a while since i did my color so i was like you know what i'm gonna I'm gonna get this in color so that's what I did and I don't know if it's the color throwing me off because I've gotten black for the last couple of months but we'll see come back to my channel for my final thoughts on this hair I'll leave where I got it in the description box below if you just like how it looks and you want to give it a try I did spend under $30 for this hair hair i think i paid probably about 26 25 26 dollars for the whole pack and it did came with look it did come with eight packs of hair so yeah i will see you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial